Hi everybody, this is your girl Natasha. My tea kettle breweth over, so I'm spilling some tea. I'd like to talk about Andrew Chad Cadwell. Lately, I've seen a few of his videos and um, the one when he was beat up, jumped. I have my thoughts on that. I feel Andrew Cadwell is touched by an angel and meaning he has mental issues. And then some of it I think he knows what he's doing. So I'm not going to give him a complete pass because I think that Andrew knows what he is doing. First of all, that, that scenario, or I shouldn't say scenario, that um, incident when he was attacked going into a restaurant with a female, more than likely... I feel Andrew provoked that. And he's on Facebook and and Instagram and all the me social medias. And he was recognized. And I feel as arrogant as he can be that he probably ran his mouth and said something shady. And they attacked him. Plain and simple. He may have knocked the girl's phone out of her hand, which I doubt, but anyway, he probably was arrogant, said something to them, and they said, oh, look at the gay, look at the sissy, look at the faggy, and they bothered him. He probably said something smart, and they said, let's let him have it. Andrew, listen to me. Listen to me, Andrew. You need help. And I wish that you would go to your psychiatrist. I wish that you would get on the medication that you need. And I wish that you would have weekly visits with your therapist. Okay, because it's clear that you need help. Okay, because you get on social media and all the comments are shade. Oh, honey, they read you for filth. Not even one good comment. All the comments are reading you for filth. I don't understand how you find this entertaining. Don't you get insulted? But then if you're not all there... You don't take it as an insult. You take it as people liking you. And then you play with God. Okay, you pretend you're an evangelist. You're, you're, you're a preacher. Baby, don't play with God. Because you play with God. You play with the Lord. This, that, and the other. God does not play with shenanigans like you, like you play with. One minute you're godly. The next minute you're... The next minute you're reading. And then that video, the last video I saw, you were reading women. Talking about their weaves. Now, the minute they call you a sissy or a faggot or a faggy, you get upset. Why? You, you were talking about them. You're beat to the guards with MAC makeup. <laughs> Walking around in the park. And talking about you lost all this weight, I haven't seen it. Then you talk about you have this show which hasn't been produced yet. I haven't seen anything. 
Then you walk around and you're rich and famous, but then you're going to work. Then you pretend like you need a secretary or assistant copying the same words that Nene Leakes was saying when she was looking for an assistant. Andrew, you rehearsed that to the hilt. Dear, who would work with you? They have to be a lunatic like you are to work with you. And I really mean that. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing, but you're hysterical. But I'm going to be serious, Andrew. Please be careful, because if you allegedly had Cordell Stewart, common sense would have said keep your mouth shut. That would should have never came out. If allegedly Cornell Stewart was Cordell or whatever, however you pronounce your name, and I think he's a sexy man, whether he's gay or straight allegedly, who cares? But I don't think he was attracted to you. But if that was the case, I would think you'd keep your mouth shut. And that would be between you and him. But no, you go broadcast it, and then he tries to sue you. Girl, you got to be careful on these streets. You bump into somebody that knows you, and they could hurt you. And even though you're a clown, I think you're a clown. I think you're ridiculous. I think you play with God. The way you talk, you claim you were straight. Come on, boo-boo. You're not straight. Far from it. I think that you should be careful, Andrew. Then, when you went down to Atlanta with Michelle Aitley and Brown, and she used you for all she you were worth, and then she ended up talking about you and... You know, she can't keep friends, but that's another that's another Oprah show. <laughs> I mean, I just don't understand it. Stop it, Andrew, before you get hurt. Stop playing with God. That's not nice. That's not nice. I would be afraid to play with God like you do. Because something could really happen to you. And if you keep on this road of destruction, that's what's going to happen. And I don't want you to see you get hurt, girl. You talk nasty to people. You look down on them. And God, honey, there's nothing to be jealous of you about. They all talk about you. I don't see anything to be jealous of. I don't. And I don't think it's cute. I think you're an embarrassment to gay men. I, I'm surprised you haven't been called out. You don't represent gay men in a good light. You add, you ambassador, oh, you add on to the problem. By saying thing about cisgender women and cisgender men talking crap and making up all these lies and people laughing at you. You're a joke. Look at the faggy. Every time you come on, I mean, I've caught it a couple of times. Everybody jumps on and they're all insulting you. And you find that. It doesn't bother you. Andrew, stop it, boo. Go to the, that psychiatrist. Get that medication. See your therapist once a week. It's always the people who are off that need medication and they don't want to take it. And you're one of those people. And I'm not coming down. I'm not reading. I'm just telling you what I see and it's not cute you're not cute 
and stop insulting women. Because the minute they call you a faggy, you're ready to read. And stop using God for your BS. You use God to play around with. To act like you're holier than thou. And then that, that evangelist one video was totally, utterly ridiculous. You're no evangelist, you're no preacher. You're just memorizing what you've heard other pastors say. And that's not cute, Andrew. Stop it, baby, before you get hurt. You're a train wreck waiting to happen. And I see it. And yeah, I'm reading you. I'm coming for you. Because... I hope that maybe if you see this video, you think about it, but I doubt it. But baby, you're going to get hurt. You play a dangerous game, dear. And allegedly, you had Cordell, and you still mention his name sometime. I think you just had a crush on him. Yeah, you, you had a crush on him watching The Housewives or something. You had a crush on Cordell. And so you made this up in your mind that you were with him allegedly. Or maybe you were allegedly. But like I said, I can't see him being attracted to you if he is allegedly gay. I, I can't see it. I don't see it. Uh, no, I don't think you're the type. And you run your mouth about it? Honey, you should have taken that, that tea to your grave and stop making up lies. But you're a liar. You make up stuff. So that's not going to stop. That's not going to stop. It's, gonna not, it's not going to do no good. But baby, I just don't want you laid out or turned up in the hospital. Because the way you were upset in that car, that was really, that was really a big scene you had caused. And you had got punched in your face and God knows what else happened because you're a liar and you won't tell the truth. And there's no video to prove what happened. So you could have started the whole incident and they finished it. <laughs> I'm sorry for laughing. They banged the sissy. But the sissy asked for it. Stop it. I mean, Andrew, if you like getting beat on or somebody looking for you or whatever, I mean, to each its own. But I just had to speak my peace, baby. I, 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 I'm worried about you. Because you're asking for it and you're going to get it. On this path that you're on. And stop being a clown. <laughs> and all these comments. And they're making fun of you. And blah, blah, blah. And then you want to read. Well, you get up on there and perform for them. The faggy gets up there and perform for them. So what do you expect? Anyway, Andrew, that's all I have to say. You need to knock it off Mar with your marshmallow face and stop it because it's not cute and neither are you. And you need to change that arrogant attitude. It's not cute. Yeah, Larry N Nelson makes fun of you, but of course that's another Oprah show. <laughs> Larry Nelson. <laughs> But anyway, he makes fun of you. Okay, him of all people, but he makes fun of you. So, Andrew, stop it. Stop making a fool of yourself. Knock the foo-foo off, okay, baby? I hope you will, sweetie. Anyway, God bless.